Hi guys, it's unboxing day for Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And what I have in this box, I haven't even been able to really look yet, is I have some a la carte items, but that isn't. I'll explain that in a little bit. So I have my a la carte goodies. I have the Great Outdoors kit, which I'll be designing from. And I also have the, oh gosh, the main kit. Is it called Premier? Premier kit? Deluxe? I, I have the main kit as well. So let me see. Oh, and it comes packaged in one of these sturdy pizza boxes, which is good because my postal system is not kind to these products at all. So you get this handy dandy little twine, which is awesome for a texture piece. And let's see. All right. So here's the main kit. And I am, like I said, designing from the Great Outdoors theme kit. So let's take a look at this first my little a la carte goodies and then I'll show you oh I should move this then I will show you the um the main kit all right so let's see what's in the great outdoors kit now one of the first things I see is mixed media stuff and texture stuff but I always like to show paper first so I'm going to try to resist really looking all right so oh there is a sticker sheet okay the first sheet I see here is Simple Stories. It says Snap Basics and it is Hickory Cream Grid. Now, unless the other side's amazing, it's not getting used because look at how cool this wood grain is. Mid-tone wood grain, kind of small slats and is that called tongue and groove? I don't know. Okay, and then, oh, and the other side is a cream grid. So that is super awesome, but I am so loving this one. So I have that. The next one I have is incredibly textured, like super textured. Oh, it's by Cartabella, which would explain it. It's called Gone Camping. And there's a super cool kind of drawing of a map with a little bit of blue going through it. And right there, I don't know if you can see all that. It says fishing pond, campground, restaurant, rental cabins. A lot more distressed on the outsides of it. So that's super cool. Oh. Ski Lodge, Backcountry, Fishery. And then the other side is a ton of pennants. So that's cool. So if you're not digging this side for some unknown reason, you have this side and you can cut out so many of these or you can just do strips or whatever you are feeling. That is so cute. Oh, look at him. That guy right there says grr. And he's a grizzly bear or a black bear. I don't know. Like him. It's cute. Like reads oh dear lake life yeah i really want to cut some of those out next this is echo park uh reindeer nose dot so super it's like a brown brick red if that makes sense tone on tone and the other side is that deep um bricky brown brick red again but it has white dots. So if you're wanting your pop of white, something brighter, you can go that way. So we have that. Next paper is Heidi Swap Wolf Pack. So you know it's gonna be awesome. This one's called Zodiac. And I never had this paper. I've had a lot of the Wolf Pack, but not this. So it's, it's tones of black and the navy tones with lots of constellations. So that's super cool. So night sky stuff and an absolutely awesome piece of paper. So it looks kind of like deep watercolor, different tones of blue, and this is kind of a cement color. Very cool. Next is Echo Park Dots and Stripes Teal Gingham. So we have a nice mid-tone, tone-on-tone uh, teal, well, I, I don't know, I'd go more aqua with it, but you know what, they get to name it what they wanna name it. So really nice gingham, giving us a little bit more of a bright vibe here. And then this side is a blown up gingham. But look at these two together. I mean, oh, yeah, we're probably going that way. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Okay, oh, this must be Cartabella again. So Gone Camping again by Cartabella. Oh, this is beautiful. So these are called journaling cards. Look at this together. And then some of that, that bricky red. Oh, I like that. Okay, so this is called journaling cards. So tight woven flowers here. So this is this gorgeous floral. So now, you see, I'm already pre-designing a scrapbooking page. Look at this, this, and this on one page. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I get a bigger, now, oh, I kind of like that one. 
Okay, anywho. So this is gorgeous. Let's look at the other side. All right, so definitely journaling cards. So, so now on this side, it's really cute. So it's journaling cards, right? So these look like four by six, but then they have these cute ones that are called wilderness animals right here. So we have a skunk, possum, a blue jay, and a squirrel. Looks like a, is that a moose or a deer? I don't know. Oh, that's a deer. I bet that's just another deer in the foreground. Cute little old time camper, which is adorable. So really great layering pieces or, you know, die cuts, if you will. But I love this piece of cartabella right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have seven. And the last piece of paper I have, this one's called Oatmeal Stripe. Although, I mean, it's it's really more of a tan than an oatmeal. I mean, this might be towards oatmeal, but it looks like tan on tan to me, just in case you're wondering how it really looks in real life. And then the back, once again, it's a smaller stripe, but with a bright white vibe. So, let's see. So it looks like these are probably the A-sides, probably, maybe. And these look like the B sides. So there's a lot more subdued patterns, but there's also some nice, bright, bold goodies. To go with this, we have the Cartabella Gone Camping Element stickers. So let's take a look at them. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so we have this bear holding a bunch of fish, which I think is adorable. We have Campground Gone Fishing, Catch You Later, Explore Lakeside. Just so cool. I have these really good pictures though in the riverside. I wonder how that works. The mountains call mountain high. I have some red rocks photos to still scrap. This adorable little camper again. So lots of really great things for fishing. And I have been telling my daughter to get me pictures when she goes fishing. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and look at this border sticker. Look at, look at the little campers. I love these little campers. I have a thing for them. I like dream scrappy room is to have like a little thing out in the yard with one of those cute campers. Okay, and another border sticker. So super cute. We have a lot more of these little pennant, pennant pieces too, like on that one pattern paper. So that's cool. Now mixed media goodness. We have mixed media goodies again. I got black last month to play with. And this time it is milk paint by Imagines, I probably am saying it wrong. You do one part water to two parts powder. So this is like the color of like cocoa. I don't know what color it's supposed to be though. Oh, it's organic in case you wanted to know. Hmm, all right, so mid-tone brown, but it really looks like a hot cocoa color. So I'm excited to figure out what I wanna do with that. I have some ideas. So I have that and we're getting a glare, okay. The next, check these out, wood rounds. And they are really wood rounds. I mean, they're thick, but not crazy thick. So you can use them on your pages. And remember how cool this packaging is that you can cut out these pieces and add them as, you know, layering bits. So we have that and there's, there's a nice amount in there. And I also like that they're different sizes because I like to do like the three different size clusters, you know, all that kind of thing. Next, these are called patchums. So these are actual real patches. How cool is that? and three embroidered embellishments. They're by American Crafts. So this one says, you are such a deer, which is kind of hilarious. Catch of the day, need fishing pictures. And then just this really nice nature scene. So there's patches and around the outside of the patches is this really nice brown. So that is like making me so want to do some good stuff. I really have a fun idea. Okay, next. Oh, let's keep going with mixed media. We have this herringbone um, stencil. It's Echo Park Lost, is it Lost in Neverland stencil? And these are six by six. So that will be fun to play with. Let's see, maybe I should move this down so you can see more. I know we're getting a little glare right there. There we go. So next, oh, these are cool. Okay, so it's not just for Boys Kit Club stuff again with that same packaging, but let's open them up a little bit. Oh, and if you like to use uh, these little grid pieces, I mean, you can punch away and do different things with those. Okay, sorry about the crinkle. Although some of you like the crinkle. I had a subby say how much she actually likes the crinkle sound. All right, so, oh my goodness, look at how many of these postcard pieces. And these are so cute. These would be so great as like 
cards to give away. You know, you put this on to another card and then included with this, these are real stamps that they were able to get us. So USA 20, so look, look at the owl. So yes, they included real stamps as part of our goodies. That's my favorite one right there, bar none. Absolute favorite. So these are gorgeous. And let's see, we have alphas. I don't know what company these come from. I will leave the link down below for where you can get a hold of this kit and they'll have better explanations. I just get excited when I see things. All right, so this is like, all right, so see this brown, which goes really great with this brown color. Like I would actually think of it like a really dark craft if you're if you're trying to get like the vibe of the color. So it's it's really in keeping with this dark tone over here of the bear. So I have this side, it looks like maybe one inch. Then we have tile alphas, a little bit smaller, and these are all caps with a little bit of numerics. One inch alphas again, and these are like a bone color. That's what my grandma Al would have called them is like bone. So once again, the one inch ish size alpha, tile alpha, and then the small. And then finally, we have a cut file. We get a cut file every month. Ooh, and it's in black. Oh, and the paper it comes with, it looks eight by 10-ish, not sure. And oh, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. It is a black cut file. I'm trying to get it out so you can, well, I guess you can see it really well. Uh, we have the, oh, there's five trees. So that works for my weird odd number thing I like. But look at, they have the black bears and the mountains behind it and then like I said this piece of paper here that it comes on top of it is textured and it's like a vanilla color so that is my absolutely awesome adorable great outdoors kit that I'm designing with this month oh and in case you wanted to know <laughs> I store my kits in these handy dandy Ikea containers and I can't pronounce it it's f-j-a-l-l-a -L -L -A. so let me show you briefly how I can pop it all in here. And the reason why I use these containers, quite frankly, is if I don't see the goodies that I have, I just don't use them. So something has to be super visual for me to be able and to enjoy using it. I really like using these packaging pieces. So that will definitely be a big part of this. I'm gonna put my stencil in there. These ever so cool, little wood rounds let's see that can go in there and then all of these goodies will end up going into this back piece right here let's see if i can go like that so you can see just a little bit better so the full size pieces will go in the back the sticker sheet will go right there and i will be able to get a pretty nice visual of this kit the only other thing that i always keep in the kit i'm working with for this kit club is my set of enamel dots that I bought from the a la carte section in the store because you never know which ones you want to use. So I just asked for one of each and that works great. I have a little mouse purse on it so that I have it handy. All right, so next, let me show you what I did get out of a la carte this month, except for, yeah, well, I'll show you what I picked up because I just had to. All right, so the thing with this is these photo corners are gorgeous and they're in one of the other kits that I did not get, but I loved them. They're like a rose gold. And I did ask if we had any extra and they said, no, we're all sold out. They're in all the kits. But one of the older owners of the kit club um, shared some with me. So I will be using those on something, who knows. I ordered this, it's by Echo Park. It's an embossing folder. And can you see it's just different size little stars and they're not in any real pattern, but I thought they would be fun to make some embellishments with. This is the little card that comes with my kit. And I never know if I wanna use that or not, so I include that. And then, oh, now we had a mix of these wood grain sequins in a kit in a couple months back and I loved them and I was using them on everything. And so I did ask, let me see if I can get my light closer. I, oh, they, they were in the store a la carte and I love the wood grain, probably because they're not super typical. So that's an a la carte goodie I got. 
And then finally, we have Nuvo in the store now. And let's see. And I have a thing for gray colored things. I, it's my favorite, like neutral, whatever. So I have Nuvo Jewel Drops in, they're called Gray Mist. I mean, how awesome is that? So those are going to make their way in, even though they're not part of the kit. Okay, so I have those things. All right, let me get out the main kit to share with you. Okay, so this is the premium main kit. It is beyond gorgeous. I was dying when I saw it. I'm not even going to, you know, be like formally designing with it for the kit club, but I did have to have it. All right, so check out this paper that we all need about 10 of. 10, 15, 20. Okay, check out this paper. It is beyond gorgeous. So let me show you all of these papers. They're so cool. It's a great mix. This one is Heidi Swap Art Walk Water Walk. So you know how like all the art walk looks like super textural paints. I mean, they look like super textural, heavy body acrylic paints is what they look like. So beyond gorgeous paper, except this side makes you go, I'm sorry, that's gorgeous, but this is so much more beautiful. So. I'll be using this side, even though it is the B side. We have multi-tonal like aqua and yellow paint going on it. Looks like a little bit of white paint. So yeah, beyond gorgeous, but we'll show you A side to start. This one's also by Art Walk. It's called Tropics for rather easy to see reasons. So once again, really smudgy, painty, Ugh, so gorgeous. Okay. And then this side, oh, Look at, see how you can kind of see like the, the um, tile, not tile, it's like carved wall behind it, but gorgeous, gorgeous daffodil yellow shade. So we can go like that. Oh, I can already tell this is Vicki Booten. Okay, Vicki Booten side note. And I have used this paper one time before, so I can't wait to try using it again because I don't even remember what I did with it last time. Now, I do know that I feel like fussy cutting this piece out right here. And putting it on something else and using this and that piece i don't know what i'll use okay let's see what the other side has on it oh okay so multi-tonal turquoise with lots of really good texturing in the corners absolutely gorgeous so that would be super easy to use as well All right this piece is by bow bunny it is called uh the avenues shutters i mean look at these shutters oh gosh don't you want to fussy cut out a bunch of these and layer them up all over the place, even though you might not be able to tell they're shutters? I don't know. We're going to see what we're going to do with that. Okay. And now this piece right here, it's like a repeating floor de lis kind of a pattern. Looks like the wallpaper I had in the 70s in my house. So very cool, like deep, deep, like American mustard color. But there's also like grid behind that. Is that picking it up in the camera? I don't know if it's picking it up, but there is like grid behind some of that too. So it's very textural. So we'll have that side open. Look at the blue, greens, and yellows. So cool. Okay, next, this is Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park. I haven't had any of the Picnic in the Park papers yet. This is really cool. This one's called Lovely Lass. Now this right here is like, like sunshine yellow. It's gorgeous with white flowers. And I love a white base. Oh, and the back is like a super, super uber usable black and white stripe. So super easy, usable, great. This is one of those papers that you would really like two of. Next one is by Bo Bunny, and this is Forever Young Fresh Air. So gorgeous, turquoisey cloud scene. Very cool. And this, is, oh my goodness. This, I swear, this looks like Amy Tangerine to me. So teal and lime hearts on white with what looks like little black polka dots. That is adorable. Wow, Bo Bunny, you have surprised me. That is awesome. I would really like to get a hold of that collection. I'm going to look that up when I get off of here. Okay, very cool. Next, ooh, I've never seen this. This is by Reminis. Stack of vinyl records. Oh, that is awesome. It does look like a stack of vinyl records. Super cool. And then the back is denim, which 
is beautiful too. I would like to get these shutters fussy cut out on the denim paper. Very cool. And the last piece of paper is Echo Park Yellow Sunshine. Oh, it's vellum. People, that is vellum. Okay, so it's really, really sturdy vellum. Like super sturdy vellum. So, you know, whitish background with daffodil yellow dots. So yeah, so the back, if you don't want the yellow yellow, you can get more of like a whited out version. Okay, A-sides gorgeous kit and then b sides this paper has my heart right there i want many of them okay let's see what other goodies we got let me show you the alpha first the alpha is wolf pack so heidi swap wolf pack chipboard stickers they're black with some white distressing and they're not flat black do you see how like this k is dark gets lighter and dark again so very very cool um, let me show you the cut file next. This says Wanderlust and it is, is it white, white, slightly off white? I guess it's just going to depend what it's on. Looks slightly off white. Like if I put this next to it, yes, it's slightly off white. And the paper they included, oh, it's a really tight grid. Oh, that's exciting. Great layering piece. So we have that. For a little bit of fun here, we have Nouveau Drops, and these are the crystal drops, and this color is called Dandelion Yellow, and yeah, it's Dandelion Yellow. Look at the color match, though, and look at the color match over here. Just gorgeous. Okay, we have that, and I mean, there's so much to show you. We have three colors of twill, so ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ideas of weaving with that. Like, seriously wanting to do a weaving technique. And the back side is that great, what I call no-waste packaging. I don't know what they call it, but I love it that I can cut it out and use it, not just chuck packaging. And next, this is a really, really full kit. And I feel like I should go out a little bit. Sorry, you have to see part of my desk, but hey. All right, so this is the Vicky Booten Let's Wander set of their Champagne Gold foil chipboard stickers. So, okay, look at this butterfly. It has like a map behind it. We've got this great navy and champagne gold camera. Let's wander. We have a cityscape, which is gorgeous. Little Vespa looking thing. Heck yes, some chipboard arrows. Oh, and I love when they include like these little bits, like these little stars and these little circle pieces. Got a really nice lime green there, which we can pull into this art walk piece of paper here. Some nice amounts of pink. This here now, we have all of these arrows. Look at those arrows. I should just go like this so you can just enjoy looking at this. Then again, I love Vicky Booten. Heidi Swap and Vicky Booten give it to me all day. I am a happy, happy, happy girl. Oh, look at these great little tab pieces too. So we have that. Okay, there's gonna be one, <laughs> oh my goodness. Two things I'm going to show you last because, um, yeah, they're like die cut packs. All right, so we have a stamp set. The great packaging, right there. Okay, stamp set. Let me show it to you. Don't just fly, soar. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. How awesome is that? Explore new places, journey, roam, getaway, wanderlust, ready, set, go. Savor the adventure. Like, oh, so awesome. All right, so this one, these are exclusives, fab packaging. So these are exclusives. I have to make sure to include my stamp that has the uh, Hexi stamp from the club. Okay, I love a grid. So let's see what we have in here. So we have these great die cut clouds. Love those. And then, so these are so cool. So look at this, cool die cut cut cloud goes on top of the little die cut or cut out little cloud pieces. So, oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. Look at, look at how cool that is. So it's like they did all of this work for you to, oh, look at that layered up. Okay, totally digging it up. So cool, love these clouds. 
And then finally, we have the full Vicky Booten embellishments pack. So there's 40 include champagne gold foil pieces. And I'm trying to see what is my best bet to show you these pieces on because the desk I'm working on, I know we're crinkling, the desk I'm working on is black and a lot of these pieces are black. So I'm trying to find a way for you to see them better. This is like the lightest oatmeal color ever, just so you can get kind of an idea of colors. I actually have scissors out. So this is one of the waterfall packs and they have these smaller pieces. It seems a pop. Let's see what the cute little pieces are and then we'll go to the big pieces. All right, passionately curious. And I love that it looks like it's kind of taped together. A cute little letter. This makes me happy in that nice rose pink. Get out and explore in the neighborhood. Another little letter. P.S. Don't forget to have fun. A giant, oh, well, it looks like a clip, but you know, it's made out of paper on craft. Oh, here's another one with this awesome looking camera. Best coffee in, or wait, best in the city coffee spot. That is really cool. It looks like a giant coaster. Oh, a vellum piece. I didn't know there was vellum. This is heck yes, which is beyond gorgeous. Around town. A little vellum map piece. Yeah, I didn't know there was vellum in this collection. Ready, set, go. That is gorgeous. A tag. There's a little hole I have to pop out. Another tag via airmail. Two arrows with like map design on them. And then we have a big globe and away we go. That is awesome. Now let's go ahead and open up the second waterfall pack. Let's see, let's see, come on. These are some really nice big pieces. So the memories. Oh wait, I just thought that was a piece and I was wrong. So count the memories, not the calories. So great for dining out, dining in, barbecuing in your backyard, whatevs. Travel is my therapy. Look at the old fashioned plane, so cute. Oh look, a guest check. You are here, a cute little folded map, kind of a look. It's not folded, but it looks folded. Love the geotag. Everyday Explorer, I have something so perfect for that. Staycation, even better. Packing list, look at how cute that is. You have the little watercolor bits and then this is already cut out for you like a notebook. Before you leave, like a little notebook and it, look, it looks like somebody put like a coffee cup or a coffee uh, cup down and left a ring. Passenger ticket and boarding pass. Okay, so I can pop out those little dots. This color green is the bee's knees. Let me tell you. A big postcard, greetings from paradise. That is so cute. So you can put all your journaling there and like a little picture right there. Oops, let's flip it over. Happiness comes in waves, looks like Polaroids and paradise found. Who did, was it Heidi Swap that had something like this recently? I think, well, like, or was it in the Oasis collection by, um, I think maybe it was the Oasis collection. Do you think it was? I think it was, okay. Vacation mode, maybe it was. I feel like it was. Okay, let's see. Sometimes all you need is a weekend in a good idea. That's a really cool text piece to have on the bottom of something. Although I think I'd like it cut up in things and staggered down. Who knows? Great Outdoors. Oh, Adventures in the Great Outdoors. So cute. A nice little postcard with a little stamp and the little pink bits. Y'all, this looks like the Great Outdoors kit. You guys have got to check that out. Okay. Fun Times in the City. Gorgeous. I'm in love with new cities and people I have never met. Look at how cute. 
I'm running out of room because there's so many. Okay, local favorite, yum. And finally, Lost in Paradise. So this is the main premiere amazing kit. And you've seen my theme kit. You've seen my a la carte goodies. So yeah, and I'll have the links down below for where you can get your hands on all of these goodies as well. All right, that's it for today, guys. Bye-bye.